Peace talks, peace treaties, peace movements. Give me a moment's peace. Don't disturb the peace. Rest in peace. These common phrases that we use show just how important peace is to us. They also show at times how foreign or how far removed peace often is. And they also show how much we long for peace. In this short series of videos, we want to consider and explore the concept of peace. What is true peace? What is true salam? Let's begin by exploring the history of that word, salam. Salam is an Arabic word. It's derived from the Hebrew word shalom or salem. In the Hebrew language, words are built upon a base that consists of three consonants. In the case of the word shalom, those consonants are S, L, and M. Throw an H after the S and an A, a vowel O, and you have shalom. Or add an A and an E and you have Salem. This Hebrew is a parent language of Arabic. You can see the parent-child relationship in the identical consonantal bases. The consonants are the same, the vowels are slightly different. Add in three A's and you have Salam. Move the S over, slide it over to the L, add an I and an A and you have Islam. All these words come from the same Hebrew root, a root which means peace. Now you might wonder, isn't Islam mean submission? Well you're correct. You wonder how does that relate to peace? Well typically Islam is defined as submission which leads to peace or the attainment of peace by way of submitting to the will of Allah, peace attained by following the Islamic deen or way of life. It's important to see the connection between the words Islam and Salam and the words Shalom and Salem because Hebrew is the parent of the Arabic language. The Hebrew word Shalom is the mother of the Arabic word Salam. And if you want to understand what Salam truly is all about, then you need to look back to what the Hebrew prophets like the prophet Moses and the prophet David say in the Old Testament scriptures about Shalom. Then you can understand what true Salam or true peace is. And we also want to see the connection between Jesus and Salam or the connection between Jesus and Islam. Islam meaning the way to submit to God because Jesus is the one who truly brings peace by truly submitting to the will of the Father. In this short series of three videos, we will consider three questions in order to explore the concept of Shalom or true Salam. We'll consider first, what is peace? Secondly, we will consider what happened to peace? And third, we will consider where can we find true peace. 